and he's going up against a very tough opponent in a boys Rimbon. Kilkenny's had some of the most uh, spectacular knockouts in Rumble in the Cage history. Quick fights a lot of the times. Big punching power. We'll see if the boxing experience will pay off to make him a little bit more accurate, a little bit speedier. And we'll see what Rimbon will try to do if he'll want to stand and trade with J-Rod or if he'll want to try to take this one to the mat. Yeah, Rimbon does have seven submission victories along with 60 KOs, so he could really do anything in there. Yeah, no, but... This next fight is brought to you by Feature Productions, your number one choice for HD production. And is our co-main event of the evening. This fight is in the heavyweight division and is a professional bout contested over three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he represents TriStar Gym in Montreal, Quebec, with a record of 17 wins and nine losses. He weighed in at 209 pounds, Moise Rimbong. His opponent, fighting in the red corner, he represents Red Deer, Alberta, and has a professional record of nine wins and eight losses. He weighed in at 243 pounds, J-Rod Kilkenny! Your official in charge of the action, Chris Vickery. Expect some fireworks in this heavyweight matchup, folks. Great fighters, get a professional fight in your hands. You guys know the rules. I want you to be my commands at all times, and if I say stop, you stop. You got that? Any questions in the red corner? Any questions in the no corner? All right. I want you to fight clean, fight hard. All right, guys, touch gloves, come out fighting. Kilkenny in the white trunks with black trim, 29 years old, 6 foot 4. He weighed in at 243 pounds against Moise Rimbon, 33 years of age, 5 foot 11. He weighed in at just 209 pounds, so a big weight advantage for J-Rod. And we're underway in this heavyweight matchup at Rumble in the Cage 44. Glad to have everyone watching around the world on GoFightLive.tv. And Rimbone coming with a right hand. A big leg kick and Kilkenny takes it. Rimbone keeping his uh, hands very wide. Yeah, I don't think that's a good move. Unless Kilkenny trying, to, trying to go with a leg kick caught by Rimbone as he picks him up and pulls him down. And he broke his arm on the suplex there. He picked him up and he dropped him to the mat. And J-Rod Kilkenny trying to break the fall has broken his arm. And this one is over before it starts, Steve. It's very unfortunate, you know, both uh, J-Rod comes from Red Deer. His opponent comes from Montreal. Just uh, uh, one of those freakish injuries at the beginning of the fight. Couldn't really establish who was, who was gonna come on top and uh, I think we're gonna see the pickup here he picks he picks him up and throws him down Steve and he tries I, to break his fall and yeah bones I, aren't meant to take that kind of impact sorry I didn't look at that I, I didn't want to uh, very hard to watch J-Rod and uh, Moyes uh, shaking hands in the ring J-Rod yeah, good sportsmanship obviously. very tough man yeah uh, no one can discount that and as we look at it again on the replay, wow. Boys Rimbon, uh, a look of concern on his his face. We wanted a, a longer fight than this. And that happens in the cage. Unfortunately, it can happen. J-Rod Kilkenny giving the thumbs up to the crowd to show their appreciation to this fighter. And it was J-Rod calling that right away that, that he broke his arm. I yeah, mean. yeah, no, you, you, you feel the snap yeah. in there, but uh, I know both fighters, and including the crowd, wanted to see more of a fight. There was big anticipation. Everyone loves the big heavyweights in there, and uh, it's just very unfortunate both fighters couldn't showcase their talent this evening. Well, Moise, uh, he's fought around the world, makes his debut here in Canada. It will be a victory. Perhaps not in the fashion he expected, but a win is a win for him as he continues his uh, MMA odyssey. Who knows where we'll find him next. As the medics attend to J-Rod Kilkenny.
they were on this right away. The, the medical staff here in Lethbridge at Caveside is very skilled. It, it, it took no time to, to come in and secure. That shows you the kind of guy J-Rod is. He's still trying to fire up this crowd even yes. though the fight is over. I know he wanted to show better and he's disappointed, but he will be back. I know that very much. He's, he's as he said in his pre-fight interviews, he's rededicated to, to MMA. It's going to take some time to recover here for him, but a nice round of applause for Jared Kilkenny and some nice sportsmanship here from Reed Ball as he picks up his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Jared Kilkenny. Our official results are in. Your winner by tap out at 30 seconds. In the blue corner, Moise Rimbaud. <laughs> Moise, if I can, uh, just for one second here. You fought all over the world internationally. Now you're training with Faraz Sahabi at TriStar. What is that doing to help your career? Uh, Firas Zabi is the uh, best trainer I've never seen in my life. He's very strong. Um, I learned a lot of things with him. Um, I trained with George too. Uh, what, do you, what do you plan to do next? What is your next plan? I don't know. The, the, I don't know what. I don't know because uh, in this sport you never know what's happening. Sometimes you think that you go to a big organization and after you, you don't go, you, know, you never know. I can, uh, if I, I can do, I can tell you I, anything about that. Absolutely, keep up your training. Ladies and gentlemen, Moise Rembrandt. Thank you. Well, there you have it. We don't know where he'll pop up next. Hopefully we get to see him here again and Lethbridge love to have him back. I know he was saying, uh, All right, I'm here with J. Rock Kilkenny. Dude, uh, you are probably the toughest man I've ever met. Well, shit, I mean, if you break your arm doesn't mean you got to be a bad sport about it. The guy won no matter what. This is a tough mother and I'm just sorry that I couldn't give you guys a better show. Hey, we all know accidents happen. I know that you're going to keep training. What are you going to do while, you're, uh, while your arm's broken and you're looking to heal up? Drink a lot. That sounds like a good idea. Do you have anything else you want to add into this? Uh, I just want to thank all my training partners up in Red Deer and all the team here. Uh, Devin Deese for coming down to court with me and uh, Chloe, you're going to have to put up with a lot of whining and bitching for the next little bit. So I'd like to thank you for being there for me and just, number one, thanks a lot to Lee for having me back here. Even though I got my arms snapped in half, this is the most amazing fucking experience. I love this, I love this promotion, I love this town, and I love coming back no matter what. Thanks for coming, guys. It's up if you want to watch it. Let's have, let's have a look at this. Yeah, that's gross. Gerald <laughs> Kilkenny. Uh, quite the score, J-Rod Kilkenny. Said it the best. That is quite gross indeed, but a tough, tough customer, Jared Kilkenny. Gets his uh, arm broken in his fight, so he has to tap out, unfortunately, against uh, Moise Riembon. We were hoping for a more competitive matchup, but that's kind of anything can happen in this cage, and, and we're, I'm sure we're going to see both of these guys again. J-Rod, maybe not so soon, but I know he'll make a recovery.